Look at the midnight run of the GFS, and it is extremely, extremely scary. I'll tell you why. So here is uh, Irma cross, cross, crossing the Atlantic. Major hurricane. Perhaps a Category 4. Maybe uh, close to a 5. It's doing an almost an Irene-type track. Here's what it's going to do. You have a high-pressure system here. So you have another one over here. So say this is the East Coast of the United States right over here. Florida's here. New York's here. You have a high over here. And Bermuda's here. And you have a cold front that went through off the East Coast. So And there's a high over here. So the cold front that passed through briefly had an opening, which caused the storm to tug north. And at this high, this high closed up. So the storm might do something like this. Like a little, like an S shape. Or, it might find a tiny opening and go out. But if it doesn't, this high might quickly move out. So, it might do something like this and strike the East Coast in and around the Northeast or the Mid-Atlantic. Very concerning. But the storm could also find the tr path to go out. But it looks like this high is closing in with this high, which may cause the storm to just go north and maybe... Do something like this. So here's the bah Florida here, Bahamas here. Hurricane could do something like that and potentially impact eastern New England. Because the the early run had it going into Florida. But this uh, trough caused by Typhoon Sanvu or Tropical Cyc Storms Sanvu right now will go and may will cause a very po positive PA because it will interact with another system. And will bomb out be just before the interaction and will weaken. But just before I go, um, it will cause a trough which may actually kick the storm out or actually tug it into the East Coast. Thank you for watching. Bye.